Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Intergalactic Toys and with me today is my son Cameron and we're going to do in this episode a, we're going to build a solar robot and my son Cameron is going to go ahead and show you the box and talk to you about it. Go ahead Cameron. So the solar robot is educational with science, technology, engineering and mathematics and what you do is you can build them in any way like a surf bot, a walker bot, a crab bot, a slitter bot, beetle, turtle, auto, row, and there's many more. So this is by Lucky Doug. Mm -hmm. And what you got to do is it's, uh, you have to charge it in the sun. And it's for 8 plus, so we're probably going to build it like right now. Okay, yeah, so like my son said, it's, uh, it's a 12 in one solar robot kit by Lucky Doug, and it's uh, for eight-year-olds on up, uh, not recommended for three-year-olds because of all the small parts, and it uh, has 12 different options, uh, 12 different ways you can build this robot, and it is solar-powered. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the box, and we'll show you what's in it. Okay, so we just opened this up here, and it looks like from Lucky Doug, uh, their customer program looks pretty cool. Um, so it looks like uh, the benefits are right here. Uh, I thought it was maybe just like a tech support, if you will, but it's not. It looks like you actually get to uh, notifications. You just follow their Facebook on Lucky Doug um, and you join and then you get uh, to experience new products, it says for free. Um, and then they do some big deals where you get 50% off and then you can uh, buy stuff from their shop and get 20% off. Uh, so we will definitely look into that, definitely join the Facebook group um, because you know, who, who doesn't want free toys? You know, that'd be awesome, okay? All right, so we're gonna do that. It does come with an instruction booklet. It is quite thick, as you can see. So, wow, it looks like there's gonna be a lot more than a 15 minute video here. Uh, so we're gonna just show you the best of. It looks like a model, a plastic model kit. Comes like that. So there are a lot of pieces to go with it. And then right here, um, again, more stuff. Looks like it involved with the, uh, well, decal. It's actually like the decal stickers um, and some solar powered stuff. Not sure, but we're gonna get into that. We'll look at the instruction booklet first. And okay, so we've looked at the instructions here. It gives us these plastic bags, so there's several of them. And these stickers, which are showing us um, some of the parts, their letters, their letters and numbers, how they're lettered and numbered, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these stickers on the bag, and as we take these parts off, it recommends in the instructions that we go ahead and put what pieces are on this in here and label them. And then we'll have all these bags of labeled parts so as not to get the parts mixed up okay so that's the first step okay Cameron and I are back and we've laid out the plastic pieces and so Cameron we have we have a grid B C D and E nine bags in the sticker so what we're gonna okay so we cut out these pieces for the first bag um, there was three different parts and there's He's, Cameron's putting them in the bag that we labeled for them. Now, there's 12 different robots, and what I've noticed in looking at the instructions is, is that we, I think we're not gonna use some of these parts depending on which robot you build, which makes sense. So whatever robot you build, um, there's in the instructions, There's that's why it's so thick, is because there's 12 different robots, you can actually find the robot by name that you want to build, and then it shows you which of these parts that you're gonna use to build it, which means that we're gonna have um, quite a few leftover parts, okay? All right, so Cameron just put those in the bag. I got E14, 16 of those, two B7s, and six E9s. So that's one bag done, one down, and eight more to go, all right. Okay, so now we are back with all our bags and our pieces. They're all labeled and in there Cameron did that for us And now the first thing we got to do is no matter what bot you build you got to do um, The body module assembly and then the head. So these are the pieces. Some of them were in these little uh, bags right here Okay, and the bags that the two bags that came so it looks like for the the gears and the uh, solar powered um I don't know what they're called, it doesn't show it. But anyway, and then this is the body. And we're gonna need a few other pieces to put the body together. And then we're gonna do the, the head, okay? So that's first two things. And then we can build our specific bot, which is on page 19. Okay, here we are with Wally. Got him in the sun. He's supposed to test him out. Son of a 100 watt halogen bulb. We're in the sun. He's very temperamental. 
Um, we have his back cover on, but on his front. So I have him working right now, but yeah, with the gearing, and maybe because he's new, but in all honesty, uh, he uh, he was hard to get to work. He was just on and off. He, wheels would start spinning and stop, spin, stop. So right now I have it as I'm holding it, but you know, if you put when I put the front cover on, he wasn't working. So that's pretty much him right there. So hopefully we'll keep him going, and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes with the putting the rest of them together and see, we'll see if he still works. All right, we are finally finished. Um, woo, it took some time. There was one tricky piece, E5. I found that you have to twist uh, with a little blue connector here um, to connect right here. This one right here, E5 on both sides, you really, you have to twist them and push at the same time or it's a pain in the butt. Now, all we gotta do is, hopefully we got the positive. It showed in on one side of the instructions to show that this was the positive, that was the negative as marked. And then in, in a, later on in the instructions on this particular robot, it said the opposite, which I don't believe is the case. So we don't know because we have to charge him up. He needs a 50 watt halogen bulb on up. We're gonna use, um, it says prefers 100 watt or the sun. So it's not gonna run on a cloudy day. Unfortunately, we're going to put the rest of the stickers on, but that's okay. So we basically looked at our instructions. You just follow the instructions. Everything snaps together. There's no glue. It's uh, It wasn't that hard except for figuring out how to twist and push those in. And then the rest of these need a little bit of pressure. So, you know, uh, a youngster might not be able to push them in, might need an adult to help um, you push them in. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Why don't you grab them, Cameron, and let's show them around. Right. Cameron's my so assistant let's today. Turn them to the side. Look at those eyeballs. Turn them to the side. Okay. There you go. So he's the walking robot. There's the back. There's his wires coming out. And yeah, he's pretty cool. We cannot wait. So we're going to go put him on our lamp. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. We'll see if he starts moving because his hour. legs do move. Cameron says half an hour. So that that could be very well the case. So we're going to try it and then we'll come back. And if we can show him to you moving, we'll tell you how long it took to charge him up. And I'm going to look and I'll try to tell you what wattage the bulb, if I can figure that out.